What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auctions. I don't give a beep. <laughs> I'm not in a good mood today. Uh, but I'm trying to stay positive. So that's something, right? Yeah, that's the best thing you do. When, you, when you're just in a bad mood, it's, you know, you gotta stay positive and laugh at yourself sometimes. So I'm gonna show you something real quick. This is my garage. You notice it's empty, right? Right? I can get in here and sweep up and uh, pick up my little tools, my little mess over here, all the beer and stuff over there. You may also notice my refrigerator is missing. My stainless steel side by side. You know, a lot of people have been asking what happened to my brother. You know, what happened to Tim on the channel? You need to do a video explaining it. And the fact of the matter is there's some things that don't need to be on video. There's some things that's just not anybody's business. You know, there's some things that just family issues, it stays in the family and you leave well enough alone. You'll notice, <laughs> you'll notice the Passat is sitting here close to the trailer. We had some issues. Now, believe it or not, I managed to lug this thing into the bed of the truck. We're gonna pull with the gold F-150. This is the first time we're gonna pull with the EcoBeast, EcoBoost ever so this is kind of a cool day i put that refrigerator in there by myself i'm proud to say i didn't need a single person to help me with it now with the car this is a different story um <laughs> something happened <laughs> i got i pushed the car i've been doing this all by myself i pushed the car up the hill and we came down this hill and i thought i'm just gonna it's just gonna fly right up on the on the dolly no problem and as soon as it hit the dolly as you can see, the front bumper, <laughs> the front bumper right here, front bumper crashed into this. It's not high enough. I think what I need to do is back it up, put some two by fours or or something under it to help give it a little bit of a lift. Because as you can see, man, the front bumper it crashed hard. And <laughs> it did this, man. I had this thing going full steam ahead. I was like, oh, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it, and then it hit it, and the car just went boom, and this piece of the bumper flew off. Um, oh, so I gotta, I gotta deal with that. So I think what we're going to do, I can't find the keys to the cop car. I got to find the keys to the cop car. Cause it also holds the keys to all of my locks that lock my trailers up. Um, so I got to find that I'm going to back this up some, put a little bit of plywood or something boards. If I can find them under there to help lift the car up onto the trailer a little bit better. And I think we're going to take the cop car. And I'm going to come behind, I'm just going to smash the back, well not smash, but I'm going to push the back of the car up on the dolly so we can get this thing down to Weird Beard today. Tomorrow is my state inspection for the dealership. So I'm trying to get as much done as possible, including getting a fridge down there. And you see, I'm trying not to block my neighbor's driveway, trying to be respectful of my neighbor's driveway and everything. Let's see if we can uh, figure this out. So unfortunately, I don't have any uh any wood <laughs> that's what my fiance always says <laughs> yeah i don't have any wood to uh to lift that thing and quite honestly i'm just you know i'm over it <laughs> you know what i mean i'm just over it right now man um so i think i'm gonna and <laughs> this is gonna be bad i just i don't know Thankfully, everybody's at work. It's it's a weekday. Everybody's at work. There's nobody out here to witness what what we're doing. But uh, I think I want to take the cop car. Oh yeah, this thing is sticky. I keep forgetting. You got to just play with her. Play with her. Come on. Or turn the wheel or something. I don't remember. Yeah, we're gonna. Where is it? The brake pedal. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in here. I don't remember. I just remember that this damn, there we go. This damn thing is sticky as hell. But once you get it, it's good. All right. Here we go.
that went a lot better than it did the first time let me just tell you so <laughs> we got her up here we're good uh everything good been here yeah yeah everything everything is good i don't even think it messed up the back bumper or anything at all it didn't perfect that was already broken that piece is in the trunk all right let's strap her down and get ready to uh head on down to weird beard in the eco beast it's time to see how this thing pulls loaded all right ladies and gentlemen she is loaded up strap down you got the straps here for each wheel i got the chains around the control arms underneath as well we got the chains over here everything should be good to go a little bit of condensation blowing out the exhaust we got the refrigerator in the back i think this will be a good first run for this truck since we've never pulled with it before i'm curious to see how she does what do you guys think comment below if you think it's going to be a flawless smooth easy transaction but before we go, we got to put the cop car back. We can't just leave it in the middle of the road. Heck, I'm almost tempted to put it in the driveway. Ugh. <laughs> I love this car. See what I mean? It's like the first uh, start of the day or whatever. The shifter is like, eh, doesn't want to, doesn't want to move. But once you, uh, once you do it that first time, try not to run into the Camaro. Boy, Jess could be mad if I hit her Camaro, wouldn't she? Can I, can I do it? I don't know. Camaro's getting close. <laughs> uh, come on, old girl. This car is a boat, man. I mean, a real, real boat. I think we're good right here. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Let's see how close we got. Man, there's too many Fords around here. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, there's a like six feet there <laughs> i guess that'll do it we we got plenty of room to turn into the driveway so i say we're good let's get down to weird beard all right it is time to get up out of here boy i parked close didn't i i probably said that earlier but like a million things happened today and uh now it's like five o'clock and we still haven't left <laughs> so it's gonna it's gonna most likely See, the clicker doesn't want to work. Am I using the right key? Come on now. See? What is your deal, man? And if I unlock it... I don't understand. Maybe if I tap on it, right? No? It's a brand new battery, too. So, now... It's going to ding and try to set off the alarm to stop alarm, start vehicle. All right. Now we can head on our way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop a lot of parking brake. I'm going to stop at the gas station, fill up, reset the trip. We're going to see what kind of gas mileage we get with a bed full and towing a car behind it. I'm curious to see what kind of fuel economy this EcoBoost can do on the highway. It's gonna be about an hour drive to drop this off at Weird Beard. And uh, let's do this. You hear that clunking back there? Goodness, I like well, I don't like it either. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, that dolly has never made noises like that before. I mean, I've checked it, like double, triple checked that I made sure the ball was on there and everything. Yeah, and we're recording. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're getting some noises back there. I mean, I have, I have like triple, quadruple checked everything. We reset everything. We're in tow and haul mode. We're going to uh, get on the interstate here in about five minutes. And then it's just gonna, it's gonna be, let's see what kind of gas mileage this thing can get pulling a car behind it, man. Obviously in tow mode, we have no overdrive, but uh, it pulls fine. Like I, I'll tell you what, the 7.3 turbo diesel had all of its torque down low. You know what I mean? Like it was available torque all the time. Whereas this, the torque feels like it's 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 much higher um, in the RPM band. But with that said, when you need to get going and you give it throttle, oh, she'll go. She'll go. Those twin turbos spool up, man, and she will take off. Let's get on the highway seat. What kind of fuel economy we're going to be able to pull out of this bad boy. And let's hope we don't lose the car off of the back. Can you see it back there? Yeah, there she is. 
<laughs> see what happens so far we're doing pretty good guys um we were going 70 miles an hour uh that didn't work out very well i keep forgetting that with this little dolly behind us um, it does not like 70 miles an hour. Not at all. At 70 miles an hour, the, the wheels start hopping. It doesn't have its own independent suspension. So when you start hitting bumps, it starts bouncing. I was looking in the mirrors watching the damn dolly bounce with the car on it. And of course, it's jerking the truck as it's bouncing. So we dropped it down to 60. And at 60 miles an hour, it's doing just fine. In fact, I haven't even noticed any rear end issues from this truck in a while now fingers crossed i may have just jinxed myself but as you can see hopefully you can see we're getting 14.4 miles a gallon so far um somebody gonna let me on here i hope somebody's gonna let me on traffic is backed up as you can clearly see yep i'm coming out here big boy big old dually diesel behind me is gonna have to let me in you got to take any opportunity you can to get on the highway out here because if you don't these people will never let you on they'll run you over they will kill you before they will give up a space so we're going to sit here in this traffic for a while we're going to watch the miles per gallon drop and we'll come back here in a little bit all right guys we're almost to weird beard lots of hills i don't know if you can i don't know how well these hills come out on camera but there are lots of hills getting to weird beard it's up and then it's back down and then it's up and it's down so this should really give us a pretty good a pretty good reading of the capabilities and fuel economy of this truck because some of these hills are pretty massive man some are pretty massive we are averaging 15.7 miles a gallon it's really bumpy i hope the camera is being still and i hope you can see it but uh 15.7 miles a gallon just dropped down to 15.6 because of the hill and now we're going to go down a big hill so it should jump right back up to 15.7 so I think uh, by the time we get to, to Weird Beard, we'll probably, there it goes, 15.7. We'll probably be sitting between 15.6 and 15.7. Uh, for contrast, for comparison, the uh, F-150 turbo diesel did about the same. It got about 16 miles a gallon of diesel. So I'm, I'm feeling like these are very, very similar vehicles as far as uh, pulling, towing capabilities, and fuel economy totally impressed with it at this point all right we made it at 15.6 miles a gallon over the last 40 miles we got mike weird beard coming down the driveway there i'm gonna see if he wants me to pull in try to get through that or if he wants me to just like sit here and drop this thing off in the road it's probably best to stop it in the road i think that's what we'll do i think we'll just pull up here his uh yard looks kind of muddy so i think we'll probably drop this bad boy right here put the e-brake on oh that's mike calling i'll tell you what 15.6 miles a gallon not bad in fact you know what i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna shut the truck off so we can conserve some of that fuel economy no need to have this thing sitting here running wasting gas she made it this is probably the furthest this car has driven in like two years and technically it did drive because the back wheels are on the ground what's going on mike <laughs> chilly ain't it yeah <laughs> we're gonna get snow tonight uh, oh that's what they're saying i don't i don't believe them what the hell is that a chicken <laughs> man i love the country i really do okay guys we're gonna get this sucker unloaded get it down his driveway then we're gonna head out and get the house ready for the inspection tomorrow all right we're gonna have some fun here we're gonna hit the gas on the truck and whatever happens happens here we go Did it come off? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, I've had a lot of people asking for house updates. Uh, it seems that a lot of you are actually very interested in AAR HQ. So I'm gonna show you around real quick. Then we're gonna head back to the other house, the house I actually live in, and we're gonna see what kind of gas mileage we got all the way here. I dropped my, my uh, dolly off out back. I think I'm gonna have to get like a trailer, an actual trailer, uh, another one. Um, so we have new fans throughout. We have new light fixtures throughout. These are the fans I picked. They're what, Huntington Bay, relatively cheap, uh, cheap ceiling fans. You know, I think they look good. Let's go in here. And you can see we got the same 
I've got the same seal of answer at the whole house. There's still quite a bit of little stuff to do and really not a whole lot of big stuff to do. We need trim. I don't know what you call that stuff right there, but the trim that goes around the windows, uh, we got to get that and we got to get it painted because I'm going to paint it like a darker chocolate color. I'll show you the color we're going to paint it in a minute. Got to get baseboards for around the house as well. The whole house needs them. Um, all the receptacles have been replaced. So all the electrical outlets, it's hard to see them because they kind of blend in with the walls, but all of the outlets have been replaced. All of the light switches have been replaced. There's a couple that are three-way light switches that I have to go get. And we're also going to get a couple GFIs. All of the plumbing is now hooked up. Well, no, this is not hooked up. He's going to finish that. There's just a couple pipes he's got to hook up back there. No big deal. But the toilets are hooked up. Sinks are hooked up and, and working properly. Uh, we're going to put a GFI in here, obviously, because... You know, you need to have one in on the uh, wet walls. And moving in here, the biggest transformation I feel like is in the kitchen, honestly. Uh, we got a couple light switches to replace there and then the covers to put on them. Got a little bit of cleaning to do in here, but this is pretty much the same. All the, like I said, all the water is hooked up now and working. It hasn't been caulked yet. This one still needs to be caulked. Uh, like I said, clean that up seal off under the toilet with silicon as well um new light fixtures in here as well i need to i got a mirror right there and i want to put that mirror over there this room let me see here there we go same ceiling fan uh this room is pretty much done aside from needing again the whole house needs baseboards and we'll probably need to finish in that closet um like right there up there that needs to be cut in and some trim put around and stuff no big deal moving on the living room is pretty much done as well we got a blank that we need to put there um, again all the trim uh, blank to put there those used to be phone lines that are no longer connected to anything we got an outlet cover that we need for that 220 that used to be for an air conditioning unit uh, obviously all this got to get cleaned up and moved out of the way and then moving in here, this is where I feel like, like the kitchen actually had some real work. I mean, just stepping back right here, it's like, okay, this actually looks like a nice kitchen. <laughs> a little on the small side, but it looks like a nice kitchen. This I need to clean up, but this is the refrigerator from my garage. You guys probably remember. Um, no, it's not turned on. I had a lot of you commenting that you can't lay a refrigerator on its side or on its back, it'll damage it. That's actually not true. If you plug it in, after pulling it off its side or its bag, yes, you're going to probably damage it. It'll probably kill it. You need to let it sit for about 24 hours, let the gas settle back down, and then you can plug it in. You'll be fine. I've done it a million times, never had a problem. We got the new microwave set up. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. What's up, man? That's cool. You're looking good right there. All right, microwave is set up. Boom. Beautiful. We got the new stove, and yes, we got the new vent, all stainless steel. There we go. Look at that. Got the middle one right here too. I like that. Everything works. I got to set the clocks, uh, which that's a three-way switch. That's why there's no cover over that yet. There's a three-way switch I got to go pick up tomorrow. Uh, we got to put GFIs. We're going to put uh, two GFIs, I believe, or maybe one. I think he said these are all on the same circuit, so we only need one GFI in here, and that GFI will trigger if uh, anything happens to the other ones. So we should be good there. We got the stainless dishwasher installed. In fact, it still has the plastic on it. I'm gonna leave that on there for a while. But as you can see, it comes to life. It does work. I know because I've tried it. Moving on, back here, not much. It's just kind of an empty room. I, I don't know what we're gonna do with this house, guys. I really don't. Um, for now, it's just, it's here. <laughs> it's just here. This is the office that I'm going to be using for the work. Uh, you know, the selling cars, purchasing cars, all of that stuff will be done. Here in this office, I will inevitably get another computer, probably a MacBook Pro, since I already have an iMac. I don't really need another one of those. I'll get a laptop, I've been needing to get one anyway. Now I've got a perfect excuse, so I can bid all my cars and stuff here. Uh, Got a new printer, the same one I've got at the house, same printer that I've been using for literally forever. I can't remember what it is. It's the MF236N. It's a damn good printer. I got it on Amazon for like $175 for the printer, copier, scanner, and 
a full toner, uh, spare toner, and the toner that came with it. We've got the shelf over here with all of my, you know, old stuff that, from Uberman days. Most of this stuff, any of you from Uberman will remember because this stuff has been around, yeah, since the Uberman days. And that is pretty much it. There's a lot of little things that need done. Um, the blinds, I've got a bunch of blinds. I got blinds for the whole house. They need put up. A few switches need replaced. Doors need painted. The trim that goes around the doors and when we get baseboards and get the baseboards put in and the window trim, all that's going to be done in a chocolate color. Um, I think it'll be a nice contrast to the bright, bright white. I've got a state inspection tomorrow. Um, the state of Oklahoma is coming down to inspect to approve or deny this location for the dealership. So needless to say, I got to get out of here and get home. It's an hour drive. I got to get to bed and get here early in the morning and try to get some more cleaning done. Oh man, that's the ceiling fan. Hold on. No, that's the ceiling fan. I keep flipping the wrong, <laughs> I keep flipping the wrong switches. The trim, the baseboards and all the other rooms and stuff and the trim that goes around the windows, that's gonna be this color. I think that's gonna look really good. Uh, Semi-gloss or whatever will be this color. And in this room, because this room's already this color, I'm gonna do it the white that you see in the rest of the house. So like this. Basically, see white, white, chocolate. See how the contrast just picture opposite everything white with that. I think it's going to look good. This house isn't perfect. It's never going to be perfect. I've said that a million times. I just want it to be decent. You know, I really do. And with that, I think we can start shutting all of this down and get ready to uh, go home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Here's the final results. Don't worry, the check engine light is not actually on. The car is not running. So the final numbers are as follows. We drove for 3.25 hours, used 8.3 gallons of fuel, drove 150 miles, and, you, and uh, averaged 17.9 miles a gallon. That is not bad at all. So for a third of the trip, we had... Uh, a refrigerator, a side-by-side -side stainless steel, very big fridge in the bed. We had the dolly that weighs about 800 pounds, and we had the uh, Volkswagen Passat attached. Then for another third of the trip, we had the trailer, or the tow dolly still attached, and the refrigerator. And for the last third of the trip, we came back empty with nothing because I left my trailer down there and locked it up. So I would say 18 miles a gallon uh that's pretty good that's that's actually really good i'm really impressed with the way this thing handles the way it pulls and of course the wonderful fuel economy and with that yes it was a relatively short video in comparison to some of my videos i think we did pretty well we made it a reasonably short video got to the point got everything done that we set out to do today wish me luck because tomorrow is state inspection day. So I've got to get up relatively early. It's already 10 o'clock at night. I've been on the road a good portion of this evening. And I'm going to get inside, get cleaned up, get ready for bed, get up early, go to Home Depot, get a few of the things that I need, try to get that house finished up, get it cleaned up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. My fingers crossed. Tomorrow's a big day, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you all watching the video. Do me a favor, comment below. Tell me what you thought of the house, what you thought of just anything you watched in the video in general. Give the video a thumbs down if you didn't like it, a thumbs up if you did. Leave your comments below. Subscribe to the channel, please. If you're not currently subscribed, I would truly appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. And until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.